Hey everyone, Jason from Makeara here with another Carvera how-to. And in this one, we're learning how to use the built-in laser engraver through another example project. The examples guidebook comes with every Carvera along with a sample pack of materials that can be used to complete these projects. The design files and bits are also included with your Carvera. So making these projects are an easy and satisfying way to get started with CNC production. Now for this example project, we won't actually be needing any bits for the laser engraving module, but we do do need to prepare the tool head for engraving. First, raise and lock the dust shoe to the highest position, then remove the dust shoe from its bracket and the dust collection hose. You can lock the hose in position using the clip on your tool head. We can uncover the laser engraving module by carefully removing the protective cap that's installed from the factory. Using the air assist nozzle is not required for this project, but in general, we recommend using the air assist nozzle whenever you're laser engraving to reduce scorching and to create a safer engraving environment. You can connect your compressor or air pump via the port on the back of the Carvera. The air assist nozzle pressure can be adjusted by first pulling the blue knob outward, then rotating it to increase or decrease flow. The angle of the nozzle can also easily be adjusted as well. After connecting and turning on your air source, you can enable the air assist nozzle within the diagnostic window of the Carvera controller. We also need to release any bits so that our spindle collet is empty. In the Carvera controller, click on the tool drop-down menu and then select drop. Next, we need to load our stock. For the engraving project, we're gonna be cutting a piece of MDF wasteboard so that it's 100 by 120 by two millimeters that we can use for the engraving project. We first need to align our MDF board with anchor position one in the lower left corner of the Carvera bed, then secure our stock as shown in the guidebook. We can use the machine screws along our corner clamp and by placing a top clamp along one side of the stock to safely secure this piece of material. Minimum strain is placed on an engraving project so we can secure this stock with less clamps than we may normally do. Now before we get started with actually engraving this project, let's talk about safety. Whenever you're engraving, you need to consider the smoke or fumes that may be created as a byproduct of engraving through the stock that you choose. Always make sure that you're engraving in a well-ventilated space with some type of fan or perhaps exhaust fan depending on the type of material that you're engraving and the rate at which you're engraving. We also need to protect our eyes. The light emitted by our laser engraving module could cause strain or potentially long-term damage to your eyes if you stare directly at it. So we always want to make sure that we're wearing our goggles, which protect us from this kind of light that comes with every single Carvera. Every Carvera also comes with a film that you can apply to your canopy, which gives you a similar effect. And if you're engraving in a high traffic environment or if you use the laser engraving module frequently, we recommend you consider using the laser engraving cover, which is an accessory that can easily be installed on your Carvera which gives you the small window that you can look through for safe engraving. To prepare for this job, we need to open the Carvera controller app and connect it to our Carvera. Within the file menu, there's an examples folder that includes all the examples files for the projects shown in the guidebook. There may be two versions of the Audrey Hepburn engraving sample. I'll be choosing the full size one for this example. Once opened, we can preview the design and toolpaths before clicking config and run. We want to make sure that this file is aligned with anchor point one in the Carvera controller, just like our stock is on the bed of our Carvera. And we need to offset the design by 7.5 millimeters in the X axis and 10 millimeters in the Y axis to prevent accidentally engraving our corner clamp. We want to enable scan margin, which will trace the perimeter of our designs before cutting, and auto Z probe, which will set the height of our stock. We do not need to use auto leveling as laser engraving has a higher tolerance for varying stock thickness. Once set, we can click run to start manufacturing. The Carvera will begin by first picking up the wireless Z probe before it scans the perimeter of our part with the laser pointer. Check to make sure that no screws or clamps are in the way or obstructing this margin. The Carvera will then probe the set point within the controller to measure the height before dropping the wireless probe and checking to ensure that no bit is installed. The Carvera will then begin to engrave our design. The machine time for this project is about 40 minutes. And again, we want to ensure that we're in a well-ventilated space and wearing our safety glasses and only viewing through our tinted canopy or protected cover. We also never should leave the Carvera unattended when engraving as there could be scorching or possible flare-ups depending on your stock. Make sure you choose stock that is safe to laser engrave before you start a project like this. Once manufacturing is complete, you can loosen the screws and clamps to remove your part from the Carvera. And that's all there is to it. Laser engraving with the Carvera is a unique way to further enhance your designs and all around adds to the capability of your machine with just a few steps needed for proper preparation. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for future content and posts by subscribing to the Make Kara channel.